hello students today we shall discuss few questions from exercise 7.1 all those questions are based on distance formula i hope all of you remember the formula also still for your recall i have written the formula here if there are two points a and b a is x1 y1 b is x2 y2 then how can you find the distance between the two points a b is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square now what whatever questions i will discuss today will be based on this formula only very first question is based on quadrilaterals let's say you have been given four points a b c and d all right so basically four vertices are given so four vertices what does it form obviously side of vertices a quadrilateral form correct so if i join all these four points i should get a quadrilateral i will get a side of point join coile at a quadrilateral form it is equal to what kind of quadrilateral it will be can you call quadrilateral hobo so symmetrically let's say this is the quadrilateral a b c d now what can happen if you have a uh, opposite sides equal this if opposite sides are equal then what it can be it will be obviously a parallelogram all right this is one case now if i say all sides are equal if i say all sides are equal now what kind of quadrilateral it can be there can be two sub sides equal or duta case thake one can be rhombus and other can be square because rhombus to all sides equal and square to all sides equal hai to tama kene ke compound to exactly rhombus when a square hai for that i have to do the diagonal test ya karan ami ki korim diagonal test kore diagonal test mane ki if your diagonals are equal jodi diagonals eta equal hoy eta square hoy ab jodi diagonals are equal no hoy tete hole eto rhombus hoy to first of all i'll find all the four sides a b b c c d a d by applying distance formula तो हम चेक करें ऑपोजिट साइड इक्वल होए से ने ऑल साइड इक्वल होए से तो ये ऑपोजिट साइड इक्वल होए से तो पैरेलोग्राम होगा इना इफ ऑल साइड सर इक्वल देन वी आर लेफ्ट विथ टू ऑप्शंस रोम्बस इन स्क्वायर दुइटा होबो पारे देन वी विल फाइंड द डायगोनल्स आल्सो ए सी एंड बी डी जदी डायगोनल किटा इक्वल होए देन इट इज अ रोम्बस इफ द डायगोनल्स आर नॉट इक्वल देन इट इज अ सॉरी इफ द डायगोनल्स आर इक्वल देन इट इज अ स्क्वायर इफ द डायगोनल्स आर नॉट इक्वल देन इट इज अ रोम्बस राइट so you can have this kind of questions uh, exercise question number 6 right now here there is another type let me discuss that one also uh, if you are given four points a b c and d let's say this is the first point a and let's say three points b c d are here Now this is interesting. Please try to understand. These three points are collinear. All right. This is not collinear. This is separate. Now are they going to form a quadrilateral? No, right. There is no quadrilateral at all. That means if any of these three points are collinear, then you cannot have the quadrilateral. This is the one kind of question that you have to check. যদি তিনটা পয়েন্ট কোলিনিয়ার হয়ে যায় তো কোডিলিটাল ফর্ম নয় এইটো কেটে আহি যায় এনেকা টাইপ অফ কোয়েশন সো হেভ টু চেক দিস কন্ডিশন অলসো রাইট সো বেস অন দিস কনসেপ্ট প্লিজ ট্রাই টু সলভ কোয়েশন নাম্বার সিক্স ফ্রম এক্সারসাইজ সেভেন পয়েন্ট ওয়ান আই সেল মুভ অন টু কোয়েশন নাম্বার সেভেন নাও প্লিজ রিড দ্য কোয়েশন ফার্স্ট বিফোর আই বিফোর সলভিং দিস ওয়ান ওয়ার্ডস গিভেন ইজ দ্যাট দেয়ার ইজ এ পয়েন্ট অন দ্য এক্স এক্সিস হিয়ার সময় হিয়ার there is a point on the x axis and this point is equidistant from this and this what does it mean let me name the point suppose this is a and this is b and this is c 
right the c is equidistant from a and b so now interestingly if c is a point on the x axis its y coordinate will be zero here y coordinate to zero we have point to y coordinate nine y coordinate is zero and x coordinate is obviously let's say x i mean other no kimana so x so now c is equidistant from a and c is equidistant from b that means what i can do i can write a c equal to b c c is equidistant from a and c is equidistant from b so i can square both side i can write a c square equal to b c square all right and what i'll do i'll apply distance formula now square coisa square total at already at to is abo a c to log amami into saba x minus 2 whole square plus 0 plus 5 whole square and what is equal to b c square to the log it will be x plus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 9 whole square all right we'll get expression like this here pura you can easily find the value of x because i can solve this one find the value of x so if i get the value of x so i can write the coordinate of c and whatever value you'll get over here you can write over here right so that is the answer right this is how you're going to solve question number seven now let's move on to question number eight it is easier here p is given 2 comma minus 3 and q is given 10 comma y and pq that means the distance between p and q pq is also given as 10 unit what you have to do now you have to find the value of y all right that is the question so what should i do now very easy pq i'll apply the distance formula before that i can also make it easier by squaring it p, p q square with 10 square is 100 now square root is removed so i can write 10 minus 2 whole square plus uh, y plus 3 whole square with our distance formula and you can solve this one and you can find the value of y from here right isn't it very easy but uh, you should be careful you'll get two values of y right not one yeah but to quadratic equation i you can have to put that practice that you'll come to know all right this is how you'll solve question number eight so all these questions are based on distance formula only if you have not learned the formula please run the formula at first so that you can solve these two questions if you have any problem please ask